Hey girls! So today we're going to do a quick tutorial about how to make hair bows. This was a request from Jessica from the original Josie Dolls and it's also our first video so yay! Um, making hair bows is really really easy. You just have to have the right tools. All of them can be found at your local craft store. It's nothing complicated or difficult at all and you can make a variety of different kinds. Here I have some that I've made. This one it has the double bow and then some glittery tulle layered underneath it. And it's, I mean, it's pretty big sized. This at, you know, a store like Hot Topic or online would be $10, $15 and it probably cost me less than 50 cents to make this one. Um, we have a nice big one, again, with the tulle. I really did a lot with this tulle and I really loved the way they came out. And you can also do really cool fun ones like this. I took a very thin, sparkly ribbon that I had left over from Christmas and did a whole bunch of little loops. It's really fun for a night out and it's really, really sparkly. So let's get on with the tutorial now. Okay, so this is just your basic working surface. Just any flat surface really will do it. I have some hair barrettes. You can buy these at the craft store. They're on sale for half off all the time. And I really like the ones that have the flat tops. It gives you a much easier surface to work with. And these are just the alligator clip ones. You need quick grip glue. This stuff is awesome. I do highly suggest if it's a new tube like this is that you pull up this back end otherwise you will have a huge mess everywhere because it does come out quite quickly so just make sure to pull up that back end this is my favorite glue for this because when it dries it does not dry hard and stiff and rigid it dries very pliable and it holds amazingly um, I really like the way that it holds the bows and it makes it so they don't just break off of the metal backing toothpicks, toothpicks are always useful Normally don't need them, but it's always nice to have them. A pair of small scissors. You can get these, again, at the craft store in the sewing section. They have all different kinds. I just like the really small, super, super pointy ones. And then, of course, your ribbon. I saw this ribbon and fell in love with it, so this is what I'm going to be working with today. If you're new, I highly suggest working with a cloth ribbon, such as this. It's much easier to work with and it is far, far outweighs it. I just really, really liked this ribbon, so that's what I'm going to be using today. Um, this is also wired. Wired wire is much more difficult to work with than just this, which is very pliable. And some optional things is this tulle. I love this tulle. I personally get mine at Hobby Lobby. I know they sell it at quite a few stores. It's like $5 for 10 yards and it has this glitter like infused in it and it is just amazing. Um, this is great to just kind of bunch up like this and glue on the back of your hair bows. It's just fabulous. I love it. Alright, so let's get started. I also suggest having a piece of paper um, just so in case you get some overflow, it's not that big a deal, it's just on the paper. So, first step is to unroll a good sized portion of your ribbon. This is very crucial step, you don't want to just unroll and cut because then you're not going to have enough to work with or you're going to have too much to work with or whatever. Line your hair piece up with the side that you want it on. I want it like that so I know that any tails or anything I put down have to come on this side. I am going to fold this like this as small as I can get it. Fold it over and then make sure it's about the same length and cut it.
which, like I said earlier, this ribbon is much more difficult to work with than your standard cloth ribbon. This I'm going to use as the tails of my barrette, because I want one with tails. This is an optional step. You don't have to do this by any means. Take my glue and see how it's not pouring out everywhere? It's because I undid that little end piece. So once again, make sure that this lines up with my hair the direction that I want it to, depending on what side that you wear them on. Put a little bit of glue. You don't need quite that much. It just came out really quickly. And I'm just going to press this in the center and hold it. This is again where toothpicks come in handy because I can take this excess glue and just kind of wipe it on my paper. I'm just going to hold this until it starts to get tacky. Now that it's a little bit tacky, I'm just going to take some of that excess glue and put it right here on the end. You don't want too much glue there. And press that down. If you hold it for quite a few seconds and it's pretty tacky, then normally it's fine to just leave it and set it aside. Okay. So now, once again, do not cut first. We are going to map out the size of a bow that we want. I want my bow to be pretty big. So I'm just going to fold the tail end under and then kind of gauge your size over here. And we're going to cut. See, now had I cut beforehand, I could have a much smaller bow that doesn't look right with my tail at all. And now you're just going to take your two ends, make sure to give a good amount of space based on the size of bow that you're doing. And we're just going to glue those two ends together. You don't need a lot of glue for this one because you are going to be gluing the wrap around it. And once again, just kind of hold it until it gets tacky. Now you're going to push those two parts together and decide how wide you want your center ribbon. You don't have to use it full size. You can fold it in half. You can fold it in thirds. And you want to make sure you give yourself enough ribbon to go around it completely with some extra. So measure first, cut second. Now, this is the point where you can scrunch it up. If you want it like that, you can fold it to where it's pinched in the middle. And you can really shape it however you want. And I'm going to decide if I want my ribbon full, which I don't think I do. So I'm going to take this. And I'm just going to fold it over and kind of press down on it. Make sure it's even in the back. And do the same on this side. Let's see. Well, I think that's a little too skinny. So we're going to redo that. Just fold down the sides. They don't have to be even on the two sides either. And maybe a little bit thicker. Like I said, this is all just trial and error to you get it to the size and shape and everything that you want it. Now, you're going to wrap this around. Try to get your end in the back here. And on any flat portion that you have, just put a little strip of glue. And push in 
that end piece. If your shape's getting a little squished, it's okay. You can just pull it back out. It's not that big deal. All right, now I'm going to wrap around. And I'm going to make sure this second part is glued to the bottom. So we're going to cut that to where it needs to be. Put our glue. You can put a decent amount on this time and hold it. Now while you're holding that part to dry is when you can kind of start to do your reshaping a little bit. All right. Now all we have to do is take a little bit more glue, put it on our back here. And glue it down. Make sure to hold it real tight while it's drying on this one. And there you go. Perfect little hair bow that would be ten or fifteen dollars. If you bought it at the store, this entire spool of ribbon, which I have a ton of left, cost me three dollars. My clips were on sale for half off, so they were only a dollar and the glue which will last you for probably a hundred million hair bows is only five dollars so not a lot of expense to get a lot of hair bows and like I said I have this one basic one I can take that same spool of ribbon and do one with two loops around you just make two loops instead of the one I can do one without the tails I can do one with just tuli gathered up behind it. Same concept as we did the bow, except for you don't have two ends, you just gather it. I can show you how to do that real quick. You just take your tuli, unravel it, decide how much you want on each side. So if I want about that much, gather it in the middle, put a little bit of glue down before you put your base of your ribbon down, and just press it in and the glue will actually hold the gathered up shape of the tule that you've done. So it makes it really easy. If you want to shape the ends, it's really easy. All you have to do is take your scissors, take your bow, and just snip in the corners and then meet them up. That's all that takes. Another great thing that you can do is to take rhinestones or little plastic jewelry pieces or buttons or pretty much anything you can think of. Glue them in the center here, glue them on the sides here, glue them on the tails, um, anywhere that you want to put them. It's really awesome. Um, and if you have any questions or comments or would like to see any how-to videos, or anything at all, please leave a message on my Facebook page or comment below here and I will have the links for my Facebook page and a full description of everything that I use in the info section. So bye and have a great night.